everyone, um, so right now I'm going in with my Clean, clean and Clear um, Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. And then I'm going in with Carmex just on my lips. And then after that, I'm going to go in with Nivea Men um, Post Shave Balm. And that's going to act as another moisturizer slash primer for my um, BB cream. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. Alright, so here's the NYX BB Cream I'm going to use as a foundation slash base and um, I actually have a demo slash first impression video that I already made of this product so if you want to see that I will leave the link down below. Alright, and then I forgot to put my contacts in, so I just did that real quick. And then I'm even using this Morphe palette. It's a concealer palette. And then just a concealer brush. And I'm going to run that under my eyes and then in the inner corners. And I'm going to tap that with my finger to blend that out. And I'm going with the a NYX powder. This is in soft and I'm just going to powder that all over my face so that I'm nice and matte because you don't want any shine if you're a cartoon. And then I'm going in with a black acrylic paint and this angled brush and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with that and then draw the lines. All right, and then for the lines on my face, I'm using a reference photo from a makeup look I did um, of this a couple years ago. Um, I don't know the reference photo I got that one from, um, but I'm sure you can just look up a photo and follow that. All right, and then I'm just going to run this along my jaw. And this paint was really pissing me off because I don't know why, but it was like really thick and it wasn't like opaque or anything. And it was really just making me mad because it was hard to work with. So that's why it might look a little patchy. And it did itch really bad, so that's why I'm making these weird faces and I couldn't itch it, obviously. And for my lips, um, I made one um, side of my lip taller than the other on purpose, so don't think of it on accident.
All right, and I'm going with a black um, NYX primal color, and I'm going to use an angle brush and run that over my lips and then my eyebrows. All right, and I'm going in with a just a pretty neutral brown shade. You don't want any color to this. And I'm just contouring a bit with a um, blending brush. For the dots on the face, um, I'm going to make my own tool. I'm using a hot glue gun. Um, I'm going to use a bobby pin and then any hard plastic surface. If it's shiny, most likely it'll be best because the hot glue will not stick to it. But what you want to do is just put down little dots of hot glue. I would do at least like three just so you can have a variety of which ones you want to pick from. And you want to make sure that they're the size of the dot on the face that you want. Um, you can do different sizes and see which one you like. But you want to make sure that they are actually that they are actually a perfect circle. So I went with this lower one that I just put down. Um, just peel that off, and then take a bobby pin or any small object, and just put a little bit of glue on top of that, and just glue that on. So you have a handle to work with. And then as you can see it is a circle and what I'm going to do is tap it into my paint and then as you can see when I place it on here it just creates a perfect circle. When I'm placing this on my face I'm doing it, I'm spacing them out evenly and I'm only going to do half of my face. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm using complementary colors in this video. Um, orange and blue are complementary. The blue in my face matches the blue in the background, and then the orange in my shirt matches both of those blues. And then I'm going with the black um, eyeshadow that I used before. I'm just filling in the um, spaces between my hairline and then the black paint. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you think and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye